How's it going guys? Welcome back to Basketball Now and under. Today we are talking all about Kai Soto's biggest rival. But before that, B December, day 8, clocked in. How good is the content? We're having way too much fun out here. I'm loving every minute of B December. It's just heating up still. I promise you the biggest videos are yet to come and I cannot wait. Now you might be wondering, rivalries. What rivalries does Kai Soto really have? He doesn't seem to have any enemies or anything like that. The other thing you might be thinking is, is it his coach? His coach doesn't give him many minutes. Could that be his rival? Is CJ Bruton really Kai Soto's rival? No. Is Kai Soto's rival himself? Because sometimes he doubts his own ability he doesn't attack and be as confident as he should be. No. Kai Soto's biggest rivalry is with NBL superstar Xavier Cooks. Now you already know BD is always doing the biggest research in the game to be the first to any news that's going on. Now the other day when the Sydney Kings were taking on the Adelaide 36ers and beat them by around 20 points, Kai Soto had one of his best games but at the same time he got absolutely baptised by Xavier Cooks. Xavier Cooks had this incredibly big dunk all over Kai Soto. Now as a Kai Soto fan I didn't like seeing it but the response from Kai, you already know, he went down the other end of the court and splashed a three. Like, you couldn't ask for a better response. If you get dunked on, the only way better to answer than getting dunked on with another dunk is with a three. Because threes are worth more than twos. So he reacted really well. The point is, Kai moved his feet very well on defense, but the fact of the matter is, Xavier Cooks is a great player. He's a point forward with NBA potential, and he just got a really nice slam dunk on Kai. We have to face it. But, your boy BD was doing a little, little bit of research and there might have been a bit more to this dunk than you ever thought. Flashback to last season, Adelaide versus Sydney, who absolutely obliterated one of Xavier Cook's floater attempts. Now, Xavier Cooks has one of the most deadly floaters in the NBL. There's not too many people that are blocking it since he's six foot nine and pretty quick. He throws that floater up, it's not an easy shot to block. But let me just think. That's right, our boy Kai Soto absolutely annihilated one of his shots last season. So if you have just a little bit more of a think about it, I think there was a little bit more bad blood than we ever thought to this relationship between Kai Soto and Xavier Cooks. At the very start of the game when Xavier Cooks was trying to post up Kai Soto, Kai Soto poked that ball out of bounds and to be honest, Xavier Cooks and Kai Soto, they both did not look too happy at each other. Where I think that once again affirms that Kai Soto and Xavier Cooks have a little bit of a rivalry going on and I I'm all for it. I know personally when I'm playing in a basketball game and I've got someone that I don't like on the other team, I'm getting extra fired up. If we get Kai Soto more and more rivals, can you imagine the aggression we're gonna get out of him? All those NBA scouts, all those top scouts around the world are gonna love to see an aggressive 7-3 center. Very often situation with big guys is they're big, friendly giant. Kai Soto sometimes can be one. When he's fired up and angry, that's when he's at his best. So next time that Adelaide 36 is play the Sydney Kings, I guarantee you Kai Soto and Xavier Cooks will be going at it like two bulls in a china shop. Personally, the only reason why I don't think we've seen any argy-bargy or push and shove is just because we haven't seen Kai get enough minutes in games versus the Sydney Kings. When we see Kai on the floor for longer periods of time against the Sydney Kings, that rivalry is going to be so much fun to watch. Now, I don't want anyone doing anything silly. I just want two hard-nosed guys going at the game with 110% effort. And if you've got someone on the other team that you don't like as much, you're definitely going to turn up a year and try an extra 25% to really put your aggression in, throw the extra elbow around, and go to work. So next time you're watching Kai Soto play, let's see if we can find any more rivalries going on. I'm going to certainly be on the lookout for them. But we've definitely got one right here, right now, between Xavier Cooks and Kai Soto. I love that matchup. Kai Soto got that massive block on him. Xavier Xavier Cooks responded with a dunk of his own, but it took him a whole year to respond. The two of them didn't like it on the out-of-bounds play and throughout the game when they were on each other. It's exciting to watch. The only bad thing about it is they're not exactly on each other every single possession. Xavier Cooks plays more of a four spot, where Kai Soto is currently playing more of a five spot. But I reckon if those two guys get going, we could see them right up against each other. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Share this with your friends, and I'll catch you later. I hope you're absolutely loving BD December.